Ahava blessings. My name is Aria. I am an ordained Magdalene priestess, a Reiki master, energy, and sound healer. And welcome to my channel. If you are new, welcome back. If you are a returning subscriber, and if you enjoy this video, if you're liking my content, please comment and of course subscribe. This is going to be a little bit of a rundown of the energies of this Virgo new moon. The Virgo new moon is happening in the evening on the 2nd of September into the early morning for our friends in Europe on Monday. So Virgo, this new moon is particularly powerful for me as my moon is in Virgo and my moon is, my natal moon is conjunct Pluto in my natal chart in Virgo and this conjunction is basically being amplified by the current transiting of the moon. What the hell does this mean? This means that this particular moon is a lot, for me particularly, is a lot about rebirth, a lot about transformation, a lot about realigning with my mission, with my purpose, purifying, cleansing. So let's talk about what the Virgo new moon is on a collective level. So we are going through a very potent time energetically. We are in eclipse season. We just are got out of the um, Mercury retrograde and um, we're still in the shadow phase of Mercury retrograde as well. And Mercury was retrograde between the signs of Leo and Virgo. So these energies are very powerful. So if you would like a deeper rundown, head over to my podcast and take a listen after this about these energies and the sound activation there as well. But the thing I want to stress is that the cosmic cycles don't, they don't negate our free will. The cosmic cycles are simply frequencies, energies that we are being that we are receiving in order for us to elevate, in order for us to expand, in order for us to heal, to show us what it is that we need to see in order to align with our mission, with our purpose, with the embodiment of the light and the soul, our soul, the light that we came here to share. Virgo is the sign of the Virgin, the priestess. And Virgin is, it's not really what we think it is. We tend to think it's someone that is chaste and pure physically. It is something far, far deeper. The concept of virgin in ancient times had more to do with sovereignty, with a woman, a priestess, who was whole and complete onto themselves. That is the definition of this energy of sovereignty, of this energy of purity. And why purity? Why is Virgo so, if you know a Virgo, um, and I know quite a few, and I have these tendencies myself, they can be quite meticulous, quite organized, perfectionist to like the nth degree. And they really, they're, they're super analytical. Like they, they, if they, if they let themselves, they can allow themselves to nitpick everything. They're super, super hypercritical in the shadow. However, we need these energies of discernment because if we don't have discernment and we don't employ discernment, we can't truly harness the wisdom and allow it to support us in elevating. So the key to not getting in the way, in the mind, is to know that the mind is a tool. The mind can only create and recreate from patterns that we have already lived, from things we have already seen, from programs, from limiting beliefs, from family, from society, from family, from family, from society, all of that. That's how the mind works. However, when we align with our life, when we align with our soul, when we become heart-centered, beyond that, we can purify. And by purify, I mean liberate. I mean let go. I mean shed the layers of ego, the programming, the limiting beliefs,
beliefs, the toxic, traumatic, whatever, and truly embody and radiate the light of the divine, the light that we came here to share. Virgo is also about divine union, the lover and the beloved. And who is the beloved? It's the divine, but it's also your soul. We came here to fall in love with our soul, with our light, with our embodiment, and I'm getting chills. Um, this is what we came here to do. We didn't come here to be critical. I'm too skinny, I'm too whatever, I'm too not, I'm not smart enough. We didn't come here to judge ourselves. We didn't come here to shame ourselves. We didn't come here to guilt ourselves. We came here to experience life. We came here to transcend. We came here to unify the polarities within. And when we unify the polarities within, the masculine, the feminine, the light, the shadow, we unify with our soul. And that is one of the deep teachings of this Virgo new moon. To really allow yourself to embody your light, to share your light, to be in service, be in mission, to do it from a heart-centered space and let go of the trappings, let go of the ego, let go of the mind. Let go of all that has kept you small, contained, chained, enslaved. Pick your adjective. Reliving the same cycles. It's time to transcend. This new moon is happening at 11 degrees. 11 is a master number. It is a master number because it is a mastery number. It's a self-mastery number. It is also the two, so it's duality coming into you. And 11 is the ethers. It's the cosmic realms. It's bringing down the infinite light of creation and embodying it. It is a powerful energy.
are creating from those toxic patterns. And those are the patterns that, thinking if you're here listening to me, you don't want to recreate from. 